I'm Brett Matem of brett.matem.net. In this level 100 screencast, I'll clarify the common language runtime. In previous sessions, I've introduced you to the common language runtime. In this session, we'll discuss the common language runtime in a little bit more detail, as well as discuss the components within the common language runtime. The CLR provides a runtime execution environment for managed code. The common language runtime includes the common language infrastructure, which is a virtual machine and it's normally targeted to a specific processor architecture. When you install .NET, you'll need to install .NET for your specific operating system and processor. We'll now look at the common language runtime. I'm going to go through a high level overview of the components within the common language runtime, not going into too much detail. We'll still stick to conceptual ideas. The first component within the CLR is the code manager. The code manager is responsible for actually loading up an application and executing that application. The code manager does interact with other components such as the SIL compiler and garbage collector and security engines. The next component is threading support. The thread support allows multiple threads to be launched up and managed as well as provides infrastructure for things like thread pooling. .NET languages that are common language infrastructure compliant compile to a common intermediate language. When applications are launched, the code manager will load the application and then use the SIL compiler to compile the code to native code that is supported on that particular platform. The SIL compiler is also known as the just-in-time compiler. When .NET languages are compiled, the assembly includes metadata which describes all the classes, methods, fields, properties within those classes. When an application is loaded, classes are loaded. The metadata within these classes are also loaded. This metadata is then used by other CLR components such as the type checker or security engine. .NET applications run within a virtual environment in the .NET CLR. When creating applications, programmers want to debug the code. The debugging engines allow debuggers to hook into the .NET CLR in order to debug an application and step through an application. The debugging engine is exceptionally powerful, allowing any process that's running in .NET to be attached to and then debugged. Applications are not perfect. The exception manager provides structured exception handling. This allows errors to be reported and additional information about the exception to be displayed. Applications use memory. The garbage collector is a component that is used for memory management. Old applications were responsible for many memory management. The garbage collector, however, will perform a lot of memory management, cleaning up and removing components from memory when they are no longer needed. We will discuss this in detail in future. The next component is the security engine. When applications are loaded, the code manager uses the metadata from the class loader to determine if this is a safe assembly, a partially trusted assembly, or an unknown assembly. It also applies user credentials and authorizes whether the user may or may not perform those actions. The security engine uses evidence-based security. In .NET, the CLR provides a component called the Common Type System. The Common Type System defines data across the .NET framework. This means all languages share the same common data types. The Type Checker is then used to ensure 
that data is safely converted in the application and prevent invalid conversion of data. It manages nulls of data as well. The base class library support integrates code with the runtime that supports the base class library. Com applications are still around. The com marshaler then marshals calls to and from com components. In review, the Common Language Runtime provides an execution environment for managed code. There are several components within the CLR, such as the Silk Compiler, which converts intermediate language to native assembly when executing, memory management through the garbage collector, and type safety, which will prevent unsafe costs or prevent access to uninitialized data.